All right, uh, welcome back. You know, some years back, while watching uh, football at a community hall, one of the young people inside all of a sudden shouted that he couldn't see one of his legs. We were all shocked. Only to realize that the man had all his legs intact, only that he sat with his legs crossed. What stood out from him was that he was heavily engaged in chewing Mira. So he couldn't <laughs> see one of the legs. Big question, is Mira a drug? And is the future of Mira business threatened? Of course, the debate continues. We want to understand the facts and figures of this whole Mira issue. And to tell us more about that is uh, Florence Kajuju, uh, Honorable Fro Florence Kajuju, Women Representative, Meru County. Welcome to the Power Breakfast Show. And thank uh, you, Mohammed, thank, thank you, you so much. Me. And uh, Honorable Mohammed Dirie, uh, Wajir South Member of Parliament. Welcome to the Power Breakfast Show. All right, so. It, it's all clear. Um, the debate is still there. You are in total support of the Mira business. Yes. But for you, Honorable Mohammed, you are against. Perhaps let's start f with you. <laughs> why, why have you taken that stand? Um, as the thank you very much, Mokazi. Well, first, um, it's true. I'm against the Mira business and the way it's done. Because I represent, as MP from Wajia South, a predominantly Mira consuming area. Uh, the, the people I represent are affected by the Mira menace. It causes a lot of problems, um, including a drain on human capital, on the economy, on the health of the individual, uh, socially, and the various other aspects of human life. So it really has a big problem on, on, on the population I serve, mm. and generally for Kenyans. And uh, that is the reason why I am um, opposite. Well, how, what is the extent of consumption there? Is it really everybody in Wajia is uh, chewing Mira, or just uh, a certain segment of the population that is not in active employment or work that is engaged in this mirror menace, as you call it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I, the, 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 the figures or the percentage of people consuming mirror is obviously very high. Because when you go to uh, Wajia or Gariza or Mandera, you see uh, not even unemployed people, but even employed people and everybody else, apart from few people, take. But although I don't have official figures, but yes. Nakada, yeah. Nakada estimates the the Mira usage uh, for Northeastern at roughly like 37 percent. So you can imagine almost approaching 40 percent uh, population. That itself is very high official figures. But I think even that official figure could be underestimated. Mm. Yeah. F for you, Honourable Kajuju, you seem to have overlooked all those con uh, concerns and have decided. You know what? We're going to push for this. We support uh, Mira usage. Yes, um, thank you. And um, let me first of all uh, correct the impression being created. <coughs> sorry, that Mira is a menace. It is not, <laughs> because Mira is a crop. The way we grow cotton, the way we grow maize, the way we grow bananas, the way we grow beans. So um, the people of Meru County the people of Embu and various other <coughs> counties have grown Mira and they found Mira. It has been there for centuries. So it is a crop that should be respected. And in fact, in, in um, scientific terms, they, call, they refer to it as a neglected crop or orphan crop that really government has not paid attention to it. But then that, that does not mean that um, it doesn't exist. It exists. So if there is an issue in Wajia, or any other um, in northeastern, I think they should because I don't find issues uh, in Meru County or Embu County about Mira. Then we should uh, start thinking about it and start asking what are the issues and what then if there have been issues, what have the leaders done about it before now I came to Parliament and started seeking to have a regulation 
that is going to govern the process of Miran. Just a bit of a concern because you 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 sort of categorized Miran and said it's like planting, uh, you know, maize and wheat and all that, and there are all these concerns. Uh, looking at uh, Mira, negative impact on liver function, permanent tooth darkening, susceptibility to ulcers, diminished sex drive. Those who abuse the drug generally cannot stay without it for more than four to five days, feeling tired and having uh, difficulty concentrating. All these are the, you know, the effects of using Mira. But you tend to sort of cate categorize it with other, you know, like maize. Yeah. Uh, let me tell you, all this information that you get on Mira, I'm sure even that, with all the respect that I have for you, could have been good, good information. We, in my committee that I formed, the ad hoc committee in, of Mira, we have requested various ministries to come before the, the committee. The Minister of Health has been there, the Minister of Agriculture has been there, the Minister of Education, and Nakanda was there just the other day. We asked them to bring the scientific research that they have conducted to show that uh, Mira is not or is a drug. Let me tell you, I was shocked to learn that no department, no minister in Kenya has done any scientific research. Even the Pharmacy and Poisons Board, even Camry, they don't have any research on Mira. The best they could do for Camry is to ask that we put 60 uh, million shillings in the next budget of government so that they are able to do further research. So all these issues they raise about permanent tooth decay, um, uh, lack of sleep, I don't know what research has been done okay. to, for the people but to come to that conclusion. But, but, uh, because I don't agree with it totally. Shinewa, I mean, research or no research, is, isn't it apparent that if you go out here, you'll find that these traits are uh, you know, prevalent? that Mira is addictive. I mean, people who begin chewing Mira will continuously chew it. Isn't it apparent without even research? And is that, isn't that a dangerous social habit? People would argue like that. Okay. Uh, in the course of our um, investigations as a committee, we requested the Madari Mental Hospital doctors to come. And in fact, the last time I was here, I was with a doctor from <laughs> Dr. Susan, a, a doctor from Madari Mental Hospital. Yes. The report that we got from Madari Mental Hospital was that there are 35 uh, psychologically affected cases. In these 35 cases that were there, all the persons who are at psychological issues were using, were abusing drugs. They were using cocaine, mm. they were using uh, uh, beer, they were using other uh, drugs. And well, they, there was no case that were, they were able to isolate and say this is a case that has been brought about by as Mira. a result of Mira. That Ex is my issue yeah. with all the institutions. Mm -hmm. Because what I'm asking is for you to come to a conclusion that Mira is a drug. Give me a case that shows that out of your chewing of Mira for 10 years or 5 years, you have been addicted to such a level. Yeah, but Mushnua here is telling you that his constituents yeah, are really addicted to this thing really the whole day. <laughs> Maybe mm. yeah. he has Responded. the evidence. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and first, uh, you see, Forest Kijuju constituents, when you even look at Nakada, which we feel uh, earlier on said that they actually underestimated. Mira usage is like maybe 8 to 9 percent. Whereas from my area, it's like almost 37 percent. So you see already the difference where they, they are the producers yes, and they sell us this <laughs> poisonous <laughs> drug. To, you know, the people who produce and get the money yes. are the uh, Florence uh, constituents. constituents. They are also my people because they are Kenyans. I yes. represent mm -hmm. Kenyans. Yes. But you know, they sell these uh, damage, to, damage to our <laughs> place. <laughs> and you see, it's yeah. us who are actually bearing the brunt of... If of I may ask, the, how is it that you consume this thing and you became its main consumers and addicts, yet you don't mm -hmm. grow it? How did this happen? The, the, the growers Absolutely. themselves are not using it. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 really, I really don't know that. But you see, yeah. I think uh, it's like the way alcohol maybe is a menace in, in, in central Kenya, but yeah. also historically maybe this drug came from all the way from Yemen and all those, and we have a lot of roots to that area. So yeah. it's actually something that we really, really don't understand. But the fact is very clear that yeah. actually... The producers on this side who get the money, uh, mint the cash, yeah. and the people who get the problem are on the other side. Yes, yes. But having said that, yeah. Mira, is it a drug or not a drug? I think it's yes. not uh, something to be debated about. Because 
Le evidence science shows it's not a drug so far. I mean, no, I mean, uh, we have the Pharmacy and Poison Drugs Act, mm. our local one here. Yes. Which, there are two substances. Mira itself is a, is a, tree, is a leaf, is a branch of a leaf. And it's not a drug by itself per se. That is not a drug. Yes. What's a drug is a component, active ingredient found in Mira. There are these two substances called cathion and cathionite. Both of them are classified by World Health Organization, Narcotic Drugs, World uh, Agency for Narcotic Drugs, both as psychotropic drugs. Mm. So, so you see, if the two substances, even drugs normally, scientifically, yeah. you, something is a drug or it's not a drug or it's this or that, because of what are the active ingredients, even normal drugs, yes. the drug that kills malaria, I, you know, it's, it's called malaria drug because it has those two active ingredients or certain active ingredients yeah. that will kill this malaria plasmodium, will inhibit, you know, enzyme production of this malaria because of a certain action by either cutting the nutrients of the, of the virus or something like that. Yes, yes. So you see, the same way, this, this leaf called Mira has those two substances. And the two substances are already classified as a psychotropic drug. Uh, so you see, it's a drug. It's yeah. not a deb it's there's, there's no a debate about there's it. There's a question here yeah. from uh, uh, Bari Umeru. Eh? He says, I have chewed Mira since I was in class two, yet I am a county executive member now with a degree in engineering. <laughs> I believe <laughs> if it was a drug like beer, I would not even have completed the school. Honorable Kajuju, tell them. How do, you, how do you respond to such a person? No, no, we did not say all those people who take Mira are failures. You see, he is successful. Congratulations to him. But what we, that we are saying, even alcohol, which is a big drug and everybody knows about it, yeah. there are people who consume and some of them are even non-personalities non <laughs> who are famous, who are successful, yes. who are still successful. You can yeah. manage while taking, yeah. but you see, and that's the main problem we have with, with Mira, like in my area, because him, as I earlier said, maybe the consumption is not very high. But for our areas, it's not managed. Yes. It is free for all. Yeah. Everybody takes so it. The worst thing, the worst, yeah, yeah, of course, actually, yeah. we need to control. Yeah. I, I somehow agree we cannot just wake up one morning mm. and blanketly yeah. and In fact, I was about to ask you, yeah. if that percentage of your, of your mm. constituents are yeah. chewing this thing and they yeah. like it, yeah. how are you opposing it? And you getting unpopular with them? But you know, uh, we, the government is here to serve the interest of the people. Mm. So even, uh, you know, they, there's some harmful practices yes, with, the, change, with yeah. the communities normally engage. And it's up to us maybe to, to put laws and mm. to legislate and make sure mm. whatever that's affecting our people to high extent are regulated. Yes, maybe yeah. we don't b ban Mira at this onset. In future, we might what ban What is your ban proposal it, yeah. then? Because uh, you, you seem to be approaching it, but with caution. Because there are consumers, you don't want to uh, you know, disadvantage yeah. them, yeah. but you want some mode of regulation, yeah. and eventually I'll wipe it out, right? Or yeah. what is yeah. the yeah. Wha what are your short-term and long-term yeah. prescriptions? The short-term is put very stringent regulations on how to, you know, how us to take, you know, <laughs> when, to how when to sell, where to sell. Like the way, you know, the Mtudo hours, the yes. Mira hours. Yes. Yes. We'll call maybe the Florence Kijuju hours. <laughs> <laughs> and then, the uh, even in yeah. town where they're sold, the sanitation <laughs> is very poor. The way yes. it's handled hygienically is so poor. Yes. And even sell it certain hours, chewing hours is certain hours. If you're seeing chewing Mira social from habits, this time, where social do habits, from, yeah. where do you chew it? Even the stalls they normally sell should be taken far away from town, like five kilometers, so that people don't that access. Is, that is so that, so, that, so that somebody does not just rush to the next, uh, what do you call, we call it dash mm. in our area, small places where they normally, everywhere you see along the, if you go to a year along the road, you'll see a lot of, you know, um, bush materials, the other streets, they call dash, you know, made of uh, materials from the, from, you know, yeah. bush. Let's get graphic. Yeah. The question is, should it or should it not be banned? In the long run, yeah. short term and long term, as you said. In the yeah. short term, I think regulation will be, to be fair oh. to everybody, uh -huh. and also so, no, so as not to, re to disrupt the people who are engaged in the business, and generally the role it plays. You know it plays, it's true, it plays a big role in the economy of this country. But long term? Long term, in the long term, after we put the regulation, we force out, we cannot just, as I said, wake up one morning and, and ban it, but in the long run, uh, so that is advice it. to Kajuju that yeah. uh, they should change farming. She agrees with me. My intention the, of um, moving the, the, the National Assembly 
to bring this uh, ad hoc committee to discuss the issue of Mira, investigate and inquire, was to look at the future of Mira. Because I realized as a leader, there, is a, there was a lacuna, a legal gap, yeah. that really does not address the issue of Mira. My, my friend here, Moshimua, is speaking about uh, the Psychotropic and S uh, Substances Act, 1994. That law speaks about Cathinone and Cathy. But the question is, assuming these are regarded as substances that are harmful, to what extent do we have them contained in that Mira leaf? So that now we can move to the next level of saying, actually Mira is a drug because it contains this percentage. Every drug that you take, even the Panadol that you take, has it's some side effect. It's yes, a drug. So, yeah. But then it is regulated in a manner that will be able to be contained in your body. So we want evidence and research to be conducted on the amount of cathinone and cathin in Mira so that we are able to know whether it is actually damaging to the body, as has been alleged, and people have been misinformed. So once that is done now, we also intend to uh, request Parliament to be able to regulate uh, the, 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 the growth, the, the consumption, and the sale of Mira, so, so that even the people who grow it also get uh, economic benefits. And even my good people of Wajia okay. are able also to benefit out of it, because I believe that 7% of Wajia, and a number of his constituents live in Maua, which is in, in Meru County. They live there. In fact, I think they vote for me. So if these people love Mira the way they do, really it has its good side. So let us see how we can help his people because there seems to be a problem, and then now, so that it doesn't become a 24-7 business, yeah. but they are able but to consume it in a manner that yeah. does not affect their social life. Yeah.